Oh, am I easily influenceable? I watched one episode of Dank Pods. Shit. Started collecting iPods. Not even iPods, I mean, this one's an iPhone. iPhone 3G. It's the 32 giga. The 32. <whistles> That's the big boy, that one. God, I watched one episode of Dank Pods. And like, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. You're right, mate. iPods are the one. I love music. I'm sure we all love music. But when you listen to it through your phone or you listen to it through Spotify, you've got to be within service. You've, you're reliant on your provider to provide you the music. You know, if, if you lose data, do you still have that music? I'm not sure. But if you have an iPod, you've always got that music. So very cool. So I'm much like that. And then the other side of it, if you're on a work site or you're playing music at a party, if you're using your cell phone and you're playing Spotify through a big Bluetooth speaker and all of a sudden it goes ding, and you're getting some message request on bloody Facebook, that's not the go eh? These bad boys? Yeah, they don't do that, eh? They sure as hell don't do that. Look at this. Slide. Oh, slide. 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 Come on. It works, I swear. Come on, man. What's going on? You, you're my boy. You're my, you're my 32 giga. 32 giga. Here we go. 32 gig iPhone 3, man. That's the goods. I started out just really liking iPods. Now I pretty much just anything 30 pin. Any 30 pin Apple stuff, I'm in. I'm in. So now we've got these iPods. How do we play them? They don't have Bluetooth. What are we getting them to do? Docks. Well, here's a dock. And here's another dock. And here's another dock. And oh, this one's a big dock. You are a big dock. Look at that big dock. Oh my god, I'm dropping docks. Alright, so this one's the biggest dock I've got. It's an Altec Lansing. It's got woofers in the ends, speakers in the front, and they're not fake woofers like Bluetooth speakers like this one. What is that? Why is that there? It's not even a speaker. Ah. So I got this thing cash converters. It was 129 down to 109 down to 99 and I got it for 79 bucks. 79 bucks. But I was taken for a fool because it doesn't even go. Alright, now here's the power pack they gave me. It is actually Harman Kardon. And excuse the green tape there because since I have brought this, I brought it a few weeks ago, found it didn't work, and I needed 19 volts for something else. Schnip. But I've just taped it back together and done a real sweet job of it too. Now what worries me is, or actually what I think has gone wrong, awry. This is Harman Card on. It's got 19 volts on it at, the writing's not very great. 19 volts at 2 amps. This is DC 17 volts at 2.3 amps. I wouldn't be so worried about that. Usually electronic components are sort of plus or minus 10%. So they sort of have a little bit of leeway on voltage drift up or down. Not heaps, but 2 volts over the 17, I would have thought was okay. Take a 12 volt car stereo. They run on about 14 and a half when the alternator's going in your car. So, you know. Yeah, we're in. We're in the socket, and we're in the back, and we hit the power, and there is nobody home. I have my multimeter. We just over to volts DC. We'll give this a young, young probe up. Usually negatives on the outer, positive on the inner, and hello, 19.2 volts. So we know this is all functioning as it should. The other thing that could have popped it is that I know I've got negative on the outer, positive on the inner pin, and on here, because this isn't the right power pack for the Arctic Lansing, on here I would have liked to have seen the little half moon with the dot in the middle, it's a little picture and it'll tell you which way the negative and the positive are. For instance, like on this Logitech, if you look there, we've got a little 12 volts DC at 1.25 amps and then below it we've got negative going to the outer and then positive on the inner pin. Very descriptive. Thank you, Logitech. Stuff you, Altec Lansing. So, she's dead, Jim. She's dead. So, I don't even know what I can do with this thing. It's, it's useless. I can't even use it. I paid nearly 80 bucks for this thing from Cashies and I can't even use it. 
But there's another way to power it. In here where the bats go. Hmm. Hello. D's. You come off? Hmm? That is a screw. D's, eh? One, two, three, four, maybe? Eh? Eight D's. Eight D's. I'm going to Google how much eight D's are going to cost me for this. D, that two D's for C. Oh, look at that. Eight, exactly. $25 off one day sale. Now, what if I don't want to wait one day? $35. How about we go at motor 10. Oh, five bucks for two from the warehouse. Yes, the one, those ones. I'll take them. Buy now. Ship them to me. Oh, look. Five bucks. Five bucks for two. For two of your worst bats. Well, there ain't no way that that's going to be happening. So, I'm going to try and stick. Well, actually, first I need to work out, actually, if the 17 volts it goes in here is the same as my D's, because I doubt it is. What's a D battery? Um, they're like, what, 1.2 volts each? Yeah? So 1.2 times 8 is going to be, oh, um, I don't actually know, like 9 point something volts. So it's like 10, is it like 10 volts? Let's make sure it's 2, 1 bit, 2 bit, 3 bit, 4. Yeah, definitely 8. So definitely 8 times 1.2 volts. So we're going to go with about 10 volts. So what I'll do is I'll get a 10 volt transformer, 10 volt power pack. Snip the ends off it, tuck the wires behind here, posi and negative, and uh, hopefully she'll be the goods. Yeah, look at this, I got a sick one. Dick Smith Electronics throwback. Had this for a very long time. So it's got a multi-voltage sort of regulator, a little switch on it. Um, six volts, seven and a half, nine and twelve. I'm presuming that the switch connects to different parts of the windings in said transformer. So 12 volts at one amp max. Now, hopefully that's going to be enough to feed our Altec Lansing and where the bats go. Ah! Batteries low. Oh, batteries low. Please change the battery. Change batteries or plug in unit. I can't plug you in because you don't know when you're plugged in. I'll just turn the old voltage rig up a couple of, couple of volts and come on, come on, yeah boy, iPod duck. Look at that sweet display too, like orange pixels or is it like almost like monochrome iPod but it's like orange chrome. It's, that, that looks sweet man, I like that. I like that indeed. What else have you got? Oh look at the EQ, oh that's massive. That is so cool. I have had a look at these online and they have a remote control that slides and sits in here, but me not got the remote. It's also got FM radio. Ooh, just got the area. But let's do what we came here for. Let's put an iPod in it. All right, which one we got? I got here my iPod 5th gen. This one's the bees. I like the 5th gen the best. I like the plastic front i don't like the metal curvature so much i like the nice sharp edges on the plastic front plus i have got a sixth gen or the sixth seventh gen and the fifth gen and a lot of people say that the fifth gen ones sound way better than the 16th through the headphone output because they've got a different DAC in them digital audio converter now these ones are made by wolf scene i think it's called and the ones in the sixth and seventh i can't remember what they're called you have to google it but they're not they went away from their DACs being made by wolf scene and they're made by someone else and they literally don't have as much grunt. This one powers the my big ear earphones, head my, my big headphones, earmuffs, you know, the big big chungus muggers. This one powers them real mean. My other one, the 17, it, it's a bit gutless. It doesn't have the nuts. This one's got like a, mm, take it. And then the other one's got like a, yeah, here, yeah, feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, you pop this beer boy in here, yeah. And, oh, Ooh, it's a little bit, doesn't have its little insert down there. I know what will work, and it's a flat bat. I gotta find me a bat, I'll get a bat, I'm gonna get a bat. Oh, I'm gonna get a bat, 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 I'm
get a bit. There's a bit I can do on. I got a bit, don't worry. I got the bit. Oh, look, I bought 15 port. That is really cool. You get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Nah. Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's a little bit of a rattle coming out of that woofer down that end. I don't think it's a blonde woofer. I think it's actually more like dirt, dust, grime, like needs a service. Could be even something like stuck in beside the speaker foam or something. But yeah. But because of piracy and pri pi pi piracy? Pri privacy? Pri privacy? Because of privacy laws, I can't, you know, play music. That's real, it's real stupid. Wiggle it, two in a room, what's that? Yep. I actually don't normally listen to that sort of music because um, that was pretty crap. I'm more like Wham, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, like that would be my number one favourite song. Yeah, something takes a part of me. Now I do love this thing, I think it sounds great, it'll fill a room, it's got heaps of bass, heaps of grunt, but I imagine, like it's got, it's got no mids, so I imagine if here's your 60 hertz, here's your 80 hertz, and here's your 10k hertz, this is like your bass, this is your vocals, and this is like your, this is your treble, but it's your real highs, it's your tss, 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 you know, your snare hats, and you know, I'm riding like a gooba, yeah. But I imagine it's like this, like heaps of bass, not a lot of the mids, and then back up here again. And actually, I'm 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 gonna say it's not even back up there again. It's 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 down here. And that would be like your spectrum. Yeah, I'm I'm real good at this. Can't you see? So it's like real flat. It's it's just shit. Whereas, you know, you want you want everything to be quite central. Like you really want to bring that back up a bit. So it's all even, and then you go into the equalizer and you can play with it yourself, which you can do in here, might I add. And look, I have got the highs right up, or the mids, sorry, right up, and or, and the highs. I got the highs and the mids pretty up there, and then I've dialed the bass just back a little bit, and it still sounds like that. Yes, that is definitely a perfect representation of the sound spectrum. So, what do I think of the Altec Lansing In Motion IMT 800? Yeah, it's mean. Nah, it is pretty cool. I do like it, but you know, it is a boom box and the sound it makes is exactly that. It's just boomy. It's really boomy. Um, you know, it's nice bass and it's a nice sound, but it's not, it's not real clear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to claim to know much about music or sounds, but I do know what good sounds sound like. So. Oh yeah, look at all of that. Oh damn, my god. Oh, is that a cassette player? Yeah, nice. Don't worry about the vinyl, mate. Vinyl's out. <laughs> all right though, how can I make this work without, like this is, this is pretty janky, love. Oh, my iPod. Damn you. Sit over there, I like you. All right, we'll just pull these out. Yeah. Without plugging it from the wall too first. That's always a good thing to do. So, I need to make this run on bats, but I'm not putting D's in there. I'm not forking out for D batteries that'll probably go flat in like five minutes. So let's just put this over here. And I've got one of these things. Hello. Look at it. Snap on. Snap on. Do you know how much this is? This was heaps of money. No, it wasn't. It was actually like a thousand dollars of tools and then I got put into a drawer and I picked number 31 because I have an R31 Skyline and I won the drawer and this came with a heater jacket and the heater jacket's junk but the battery pack's kind of good. Now it does have snap-on written in other places on it too which is like pretty cool but there's 62% in that. Now what it's got is a 5 volt output, 5 volt output and a DC 12 volt output. So let's put a plug in that, have some beer wires coming out of it and then let's use our multimeter to see how much we've got coming out of it, and hopefully we can use that to power the Altec Lansing. I'll change your topic, but I was 
just about to change the bits in my heat pump remote because the old screen is getting a bit dim. It's a bit hard to read, you know, you push a button and it actually dims out. I didn't realise they're the original Mitsubishi batteries. And I was like, shit, my heat pump's like at least probably almost 20, like 15 years old. So, like, these bats have got to be over their best before days, surely. And they are by miles, 2016. These were literally, Mitsubishi were like, these are going to be junk by 2016. Fool's that, 2020, and it's still making this heat pump remote per bitch. So, I'm not replacing these bats now. I'm going to get everything I can out of them, and then I'm going to recharge them. Yes. I got me my altimeter, got me snap-on bat pack. And I got me one of these, and this should fit straight in there, oh lovely light, yes, very good. Turn on mate, I need your assistance. Right, how much have we got coming out of here? 11.9 volts, sweet, alright, how does this fit? Pull you back over, upside down, come on, oh, loser, oh, man it's like so close, it's that close that I'm almost gonna just like dissect it out of its case and rip it apart just so it fits, you know what, maybe I'll just put a grinder on it and just grind the edge down, will that work, I reckon that would work. Wow, I might cut the bits up though, that wouldn't be very good, would it? Alright, I got me wires tucked down in there, and then I've got them coming to this thing, and then I've got the turn or the copper, I've got it um, real nicely insulated by uh, by not insulating it, and I've plugged it in, let's see what's going on, is it gonna turn on? Oh my god, yes, 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 how good is that? And this has even got the little doohickey, it's saying, I am giving power. Alright, we're all hooked up. We're gonna play some Jay-Z. I don't really like Jay-Z, but play anyway. Come on, mate, where's your... There we go. Nice. We still on 62%? 62. Alright, it is... 3.03 by my computer, oh, oh, 3.03, I'll come back to you when we are uh, got a flat back, yeah, oh my god, it is 12.24am, almost, what's that, 7, 8 hours, I don't know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, lost count, it's like 6 or 7 hours later, and I've got it giving me that auxiliary input. This thing, might I add, it's got two auxiliary inputs, one there and one there, two 3.5mm headphone jacks in, two of them, that's odd, don't see that very much, auxiliary inputs usually on everything, but just two of them, it's quite odd, um, anyway, I've got on the auxiliary input, I've got it coming out of the computer, so I've just been editing this video, and I'm at the end of editing this video, and this thing's still got 52%, it's used like 10% of its bat, man, it's gonna last forever, well, it's definitely gonna last a good, I'm gonna say full charge battery and it would 24 hours. Although it is just on the computer, so vocals, so it's not having to drive the speakers very hard, so it probably wouldn't be using a lot of current. If it was playing really bassy music and turned up quite loud, I would say it would consume the energy a lot quicker. So maybe that'll be a test I'll run later at a later date. But it's midnight. I'm not gonna sit here cranking up some bloody, I don't know. What beats do the kids listen to nowadays? Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to subscribe and tune in, because on the next video, we're going to be taking a look at this thing. This thing is a Ford Studio 504 Ambiophonic stereo system, and it's the juice, mate. But I got it from the dump. Look at the mould on it. I paid $8.50 from the local tip, bring it home. I'm about to plug it in and hit record. So hit subscribe, tune in, and check out the next video.